not tempted to use the perfect squares, okay? We've got to split these up so that it's a perfect cube times another number. So the good news about that is we kind of just shrunk our, our possibilities because cube roots get, or excuse me, perfect cubes get pretty big pretty quick. Um, so we don't have as many choices to choose from. 64 is not a perfect cube. It's a perfect square, okay? 27 is the perfect cube that we need to use here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. It is. I'm sorry. My bad. It is. I'm sorry. I misspoke. But it's not evenly divisible into 108. 128, right? Yeah, 128, but not 108. Okay. Um, now, the x is just x to the first, so I can't split that up so that it has a power of 3. Um, hmm? 27 times 4 is 108. Okay. My y, I'm going to split up into y cubed times y to the first. Because 3 plus 1 is 4, and the cube, we're talking about a cube root, so that's what's going to help us here. All right. So... The cube root of 27, the cube root of 4, just nestle that 3 there in, in your um, root notation. And again, you don't necessarily need to write all of this out, but for a lot of people, I think it is very helpful. Okay? Uh, the cube root of 27 is 3. Can't take the cube root of 4. Well, we can. It's just not a whole number. Cube root of x, can't simplify that, can't reduce that. Cube root of y cubed is y, and we cannot reduce the cube root of y. So, final answer is negative 24. That y needs to move up there, and then we need to combine everything that's left under a cube root. So, 4xy is under the cube root. Okay, all right. Now, we haven't had this because we were dealing with square roots, but here's what we need to do when there's a negative. Okay, when there's a negative under the cube root, then you need to make that a part of um, the simple part. So 54 is divisible by 8, uh, 27. 27. 27 times 2 is 54. So I'm going to split up that up into negative 27 times 2. x to the fifth, I'm going to write as x cubed times x squared. And y to the eleventh is going to be y to the ninth times y squared. How do I pick those numbers? You want one of them to be a multiple of 3. Okay, you want one of them to be a multiple of 3. I pick the biggest multiple of 3 um, that will go into that number. All right, simplify it, well, splitting it apart. All right, simplify it. The cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. Okay, so we don't leave negatives under the cube root. We always want that to come out. Uh, the cube root of x cubed is x. We cannot simplify the cube root of x squared. The cube root of y to the ninth is y cubed. And we cannot simplify the cube root of y squared. So final answer is negative 9 x y cubed. I do prefer your answers to be in alphabetical order. And under the cube root, we've got a 2, we've got an x squared, and we have a y squared. You keep it with the cube root, or the perfect cube, so that it will come out of the rack. Okay. Just like we don't leave negatives in the denominator, we don't leave negatives under a radical. So put it with the perfect cube so that you can bring it out. Okay, one more example like that. Uh, 
uh, 72. Let's see here. 72 perfect cube. 8. Negative 8 times 9. 8 times 9 is 72. Uh, x to the 6. Let's write that as x cubed times x cubed. And y squared. It's less than the root, so that's all you can do with that. Yes. You could have, but if you did that, then the negative would end up staying under the radical, and we don't want that. Okay, so the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. Cube root of x cubed is x. Cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of y squared can't do anything with it. So final answer, we get positive 4, because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. x times x is x squared, cube root of 9y squared. Be careful when your variables in front of your radical have exponents, and you've got something like the cube root. Make sure that there's a, a gap there, okay? Once we do a pretty good, you have good handwriting, you're good at writing things neatly. Some of you, I need to make that point because your numbers will just all bunch together. You'll lose the cube root. And then, yeah. And x to the 23rd. Yeah. Okay, so be careful with that. Make sure that this three is clearly with the radical. Make sure that there's a little bit of a gap there. Um, just try to be neat with these. Okay? So, like I said, <clears throat> as I mentioned, um, a lot of you can leave this this step right here. You can leave that out where I split it up into all the different uh, radicals. But I'll show you that because a lot of people, uh, once they start doing these faster, they start forgetting which number comes out and they'll forget to take the cube root of negative eight. They'll just put negative eight out here instead of negative two or they'll try to put the 9 out here and they leave the 8 under. Okay. I think this makes it very, very clear uh, of, of how everything breaks down. So it, it's good for a lot of you to do that part. Okay.